Welcome back. February is National Heart Month, and it's time to talk seriously about women and heart disease, which is the number one killer of women. Dr. Rachel Haley of HCA Midwest Health explains how we can lower our risk. The American Heart Association estimating 90% of women have one or more risk factor when it comes to stroke or heart disease. So what can we as women do to lower those so we can actually help prevent a heart attack? It, it's tragic. Every 80 seconds in this country, cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. including stroke, claims a woman's life. So Gosh. as women, we need to take charge of our own heart health. We need to know our risk factors, make lifestyle changes, see the doctor if we need to, get tested, and take medications if it's indicated. 80% of all heart attacks are preventable with lifestyle wow. modifications and risk factor reduction. Okay, so what you just told us is we can take charge of our own health. So what are some of those risk factors we should be aware of? Now, there are many, but some of the most important ones are diabetes, high cholesterol, mm. high blood pressure, smoking, obesity, being physically inactive, family history, and age. A woman over the age of 55 is at greater risk for heart disease. And some of those things, may be hereditary and maybe we can't do anything about it, but a lot of it can be modified through lifestyle changes. Yes. So what do you recommend doing so that we can lower those risks? Yes, it's simple and it's a lot of common sense. Mm -hmm. One of the most important lifestyle modifications you can do is if you smoke, stop. Smoking, Put it out. Smoking causes um, your blood vessels to have plaque mm -hmm. formation. It can cause clots to form. It also reduces your HDL, which is your good cholesterol. Additionally, we need to be more physically active. 30 minutes a day can greatly reduce our risk. We need to eat a healthy diet. Vegetables, legumes, beans, um, lean meats. Uh, Everything mom and dad told us to get it's actually good for you. And you need to avoid <laughs> things. Avoid um, trans fats, reduce mm -hmm. um, saturated fats, caffeine, salt, limit alcohol. True or false, are heart attack symptoms the same in both men and women? Women don't necessarily have chest pain like a man. Okay. Women can have shortness of breath, fatigue, um, pain in the neck, the jaw, the back, nausea wow. and vomiting. Those can be even more common than say the classic chest pain. Why should women or some women get a coronary calcium scoring test? You know, these heart scans can really be beneficial in people that have no symptoms but have mm -hmm. risk factors like diabetes, the heart disease, family history. Um, you know, knowing your score uh, can help you and your physician know what your uh, risk is. We've been dealing with a lot of snow and that means snow shoveling. So why can this actually be dangerous? Well, it's it's funny. You can, you know, slip and fall and, you know, sprain something or break a bone, but you can You can all... slip and fall just walking outside. Absolutely, but you can also mm -hmm. have a heart attack and end up in the ER. And it, it seems simple, but shoveling snow can actually do this. And um, you know, the cold temperatures and physical labor puts an added stress on the heart. Well, those are great tips as always from Dr. Haley. For more information, head on over to hcamidwest.com.